I became the first detective sergeant to be made, you know, female detective sergeant when I was at Burnside CIB. Uh, I was the first um, um, deputy president of the police association, female. Uh, I was the first to be given a um, country position as a chief inspector. I know some of the publicity because I was in the papers, you know, first female to be given a country division and I can remember somebody saying, bloody hell, a woman, a woman in charge of a division. But they soon settled down. I couldn't go to the pub on a Friday night though. I had to be a bit conservative. I was a bit of a trailblazer, I suppose, but um, it was opening up for women. Uh, women, you know, my predecessors, they were wonderful, but suddenly the police department saw that they've got to uh, do something for women, they've got to encourage them. And I was at that era where it was all happening, so I, mm, I did encourage the girls to, you know, do their jobs, um, do study, study and get ahead. It was difficult though for women to get ahead because there were so many men above us to sit and do our exams and we passed them, but to get in that rank, uh, it, was, it was difficult, but we made it. Uh, when I joined, there were 46 women uh, in the police force, and then when I left, there was almost a 1,000 over uh, 34 years. So, yeah, that was a big increase, but we need more. Um, and it's wonderful to see some of the women now getting the proper ranks that they deserve. We have a deputy commissioner, we've got assistant commissioners, so it's great.